Recall that a first order differential equation of form m x and y dx or a function or a quantity in x and y times dx plus another quantity in terms of x and y times dy equal to zero is said to be homogeneous if both m and n are homogeneous functions of the same degree. So to verify that they are homogeneous functions, we just substitute tx for x, ty for y, and we check to see if it's equal to t2 sum exponent times m of x and y, and also the same for n. Then you can apply different types of substitution like v equals to y over x or y is equal to vx. Then you can take the differential of both sides and it transforms the original differential equation into separable differential equation. In this example, we want to solve the differential equation using substitution. Take a look. You have x minus y times dx plus x dy equal to zero. Both of these functions, x minus y and x, are homogeneous. Why is that? If I substitute tx for x, ty for y, we can basically factor out t, and the exponent is 1. The degree is 1. So x minus y is homogeneous function. Also x. If you substitute tx for x, you can basically factor out t and multiply by x. The degree is 1. The exponent of t is just 1. Easily conclude that x minus y and x are homogeneous functions. In the next step, we can use appropriate substitution. We can take u equals to y divided by x or y is ux. The differential of y is equal to u dx plus x du. Now what? In the next step, we're going to do the substitution. x stays the same, y becomes ux because y is u times x using appropriate substitution, dx dx plus x times, now for dy, you're going to use the differential of y, which is u dx plus x du. In the next step, we're going to do the sub distribution. x dx minus u x dx plus x u dx plus x times x du, and on the right-hand side, you have a zero. We're looking for opposite terms. x u dx and negative u x dx are opposite of each other. So you can get rid of these middle terms. You end up with x dx plus x times x du equal to zero. Now divide everything by x to simplify this further. x dx divided by x plus x times x du divided by x equals to zero over x. So basically you can get rid of common factors. This simplifies into dx plus x du equal to zero. But this is basically a separable differential equation. Let us go to the next step and solve this separable differential equation. dx plus x du is zero and it's separable. How do we solve a separable differential equation? Let us bring all x terms on one side or write them next to each other and have the rest of the variables along with their differentials next to each other or on the other side of the equation, whichever is more easier for you. You have dx over x plus du equal to zero. But take a look. I can start taking the integral, the integral of dx over x plus the integral of du equals to the integral of zero. So we're taking the integral of all terms. Going back to calculus, the integral of 1 over u du is ln of absolute value of u plus constant of integration. And the integral of dx is equal to the integral of 1 dx or x plus c. And the integral of a dx is equal to ax plus c. These are the basics that we learn in calculus, everyone. So as you can see, you end up with the integral of dx over x, which is the integral of du over u 
can be written as ln of absolute value of x. And then the second integral, the integral of du, is basically u. And on the other side, you have the integral of 0, which is equal to c. Please pay attention. 0 and a are equal to each other. So on this side, 0 times x becomes 0. That's why you end up with just a coefficient c. Remember that at the beginning, we took this nice substitution. y is equal to ux, or u is equal to y divided by x. Now we need to substitute this back because our original equation was written in x and y. So this becomes ln of absolute value of x plus y over x, which is coming from the substitution, equals to c. You can go to the next step and multiply everything by x. You end up with x ln of absolute value of x plus y equals to cx. You might be interested in taking x ln of absolute value of x and bring it to the other side and y becomes cx minus x times ln of absolute value of x. So as we saw, with correct substitution, we took a differential equation and convert that into a separable differential equation and we're easily able to solve this.